everyone, it's Andrea here today. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do my Friday read. So this is the stuff I'm hoping to read over the weekend. I'm still reading Undying by Michelle Faber because it's a book of poetry. I don't like to sit there and read them all in one go. I tend to dip into them a few at a time. So that's going to take me a while to get through. So I won't mention that again until I've finished it. So this weekend I am currently trying to, I am currently reading and will be finishing over the weekend I hope. Breakfast at Tiffany's by Truman Capote. I only started that this morning but I am enjoying it. So we all know this is the story of Holly Golightly. It's New York in the 1940s where the martinis flow from cocktail hour till breakfast at Tiffany's and nice girls don't. Except of course Holly Golightly. Pursued by mafia gangsters and playboy millionaires, Holly is a fragile eye full of tawny hair and turned up nose a heartbreaker, a perplexer, a traveller, a tease. She is irrepressibly top banana in the shop department and one of the shining flowers of American fiction. And there are also three short stories after Breakfast to finish this book, so I'm hoping to finish that this weekend. Jack the Ripper by Donald Rumbelow. You'll see the uh, a blurb about this book in my Hey On Why book haul because I got it in Hey On Why. As you see, I have started reading it. I'm not very far through it, but it is a fascinating book on the Ripper Mysteries. One of the best books to come out of uh, the Ripperology genre. Then I've got two children's books that I'm hoping to get to this weekend, and they are Five Go Adventuring Again by Enid Blyton. I bought these from eBay. I bought four of them. I've only read the first one. This is actually the second one in the series of the Famous Five, so it actually follows on from the one I la read last, so I'm looking forward to that. It's been a long time since I read The Famous Five. We're probably talking 30 years or so, so I'm really enjoying reading these again. And then the last book and another children's book I'm hoping to start this weekend is Terry Pratchett's The Witch's Vacuum Cleaner, which is a collection of his short children's stories that he wrote when he was a young journalist and he's tweaked, and this was published post posthumously after his death he died last year and this came out this year so I'm hoping to get to that this weekend as well because I do like a bit of Terry Pratchett as well you know so those are my four books for Friday reads as and as I said I will be continuing with the Michelle Faber poetry book um but yeah so what are you reading this weekend let me know in the comments below if you like this video thumbs up and comment share and subscribe if you want to and I will see you soon bye